Geospatial data is any information that is geolocated on Earth. So it means that it can be very specific with a coordinate system, longitude, latitude, elevation, but it can be also a bit more general, like a neighborhood, a district, a province, a state. And so in uh, geospatial analysis, what we do is that we try to locate people, things, events. An example from the education sector is the school map. So the government or the ministry might have an address or a geolocation for every school in the network so they can see at a glance on a map if the education network, the school network, is covering the whole country. Then they can have some calculation to see if every school is within walking distance from every children's household or if uh, the school bus routes are optimal in uh, bringing children to school every day. So we noticed that the policies that yield the best results are those that were designed in collaboration with communities where they're implemented, or at least that take into account the different realities of their context. And ministries have very limited resources to allocate every year in recruiting teachers, preparing inspection uh, circuits, uh, in deciding uh, where to build new schools or refurbish the existing ones. And so we really need to be able to target interventions and yarkais, the different programs that we're going to implement. And so maybe a first step would be for ministries or teams that work with geospatial information to assess their practices and see where perhaps some efficiency gains could be um, uh, uh, obtained. And so IIP, on our side, we can offer technical advice, uh, training in using software or in using data sets. Um, and we can also uh, provide uh, documents like uh, methodologies and tools that will support the ministries in using more geospatial information to make more informed decision making. <laughs>